Hey everyone's a Jackal Wolf, a back on the Outcast server with another five minutes. That's how I did it. Uh, if you've been following along, you know that we are uh, working in the forestry mod, uh, you know, to breed up some bees that will eventually allow us to uh, manufacture our own lava. Now this is a multi-step progress and uh, we are, you know, still working on our way to get to that point. But uh, today uh, we are going to work on actually breeding some bees. Now before we get too far into breeding bees, we're going to need to know each bee's a specific habitat. Uh, to figure that out, we're going to need something called a habitat locator. Now, to build a habitat locator, we're going to first need four bronze ingots. Now, uh, to craft a bronze ingot, you simply need three copper ingots and one tin ingot. Um, you could also do this in a smell tree. Uh, the ratio is exactly the same, that three to one of, of copper and tin. Now we're going to take those four ingots, we're going to place it in a crafting table with one piece of redstone, and that is going to get us our habitat locator. Now, before we can use this habitat locator, we're going to need to power it up with uh, something very specific. Now that is going to be honey drops. Now we get honey drops from running uh, certain combs into the centrifuge, and as you can see, I've got mine hook up to the clockwork engine. I'm just going to power it back up again and as we can see it will start spinning this comb around and it is going to produce uh, things like the honey drops, uh, the beeswax, uh, as well as a few other things that we're going to need later on. But uh, for right now we just need a bunch of honey drops. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that habitat locator, we're going to open it up, we're going to take the honey drops and we're going to place it into uh, the little honey drop location. Now the next thing we need to do is we need to take a particular bee place it into the little question mark and it will show exactly where uh, that bee is going to operate the best. So this is a modest drone. These are the ones we've been using in the desert. So you can see we can use these ones in the desert. We can use them in the ocean, the hills, the plains, uh, and in the nether. Uh, the second bee we're going to take a look at is the Sorceress Princess. I picked this one here because I know it can already operate in the desert and we can sort of pair it up with the Modest Drone and uh, get a, a working combination. So what we're going to do is we're going to jump over to our little bee area in the desert and uh, I will see you there in a moment. So we're just outside of my uh, little bee area here. And as you can see, the habitat locator is currently letting us know that we are in a forest biome. The temperature is icy and the humidity is normal. Uh, now we were looking for a desert biome. So we're going to just pop over here across the line. And here you go. You can see it's spinning round and round. I think that is letting us know that we are in an appropriate um, area for uh, the bee that we were just looking for. So uh, we're just going to open it up here and you can see this is a current biome is a Xeric shrubland, shrubland, uh, which I guess must be some offshoot of a, a desert. Uh, and I know that because we've been using these, um, you know, bees here uh, quite a bit already. Temperature is warm and humidity is arid. Now that's going to be a lot more important a little bit in the future. But for now, we're going to open up one of our apiaries. And actually, I should have replaced these impregnated frames, but uh, it does not matter. What we're going to do is we're going to take that sword sorceress princess and we're going to pair, pair it with a modest drone. Uh, so what we're trying to accomplish here is to breed a common bee. Now uh, that can be done by uh, pairing any of the hive princesses with a different hive drone. Now by hive I mean any of the uh, you know natural hives that you find out in the world. Uh, any of the queen or the princesses and the drones from there when paired together will give you a chance of getting a common uh, princess out of that. So all we need to do now is wait for this uh, sorceress uh, queen uh, to finish her cycle and we'll see if we get that common bee. Okay guys, so we are really, really close and as soon as this sorceress queen is done, actually what we're going to do is, let's turn this one off and that way we'll keep all the stuff in here. So we've got a common drone. Perfect. This is exactly what we want. Uh, we also picked up some sorceress drones that have been a little bit of genetic modification as well as a sorceress princess again. So uh, this common drone we can now pair up with perhaps one of our pristine uh, princesses uh, here that we've got maybe in a different area and hopefully we'll end up with a, a common queen. Now that is going to be the next step. Now, this is one I've sort of built uh, on the side 
side while I was working on this one here. So uh, we are well and truly on our way uh, to uh, working up towards getting that automated lava. But uh, for now, uh, that is going to be it for this one, guys. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, please think about leaving a like and a subscribe. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter at Jackal Wolf. And uh, also check out the description below. There is a link to some of the other Outcast members. Uh, please, please, please go and check out their content. Uh, they have some really, really good stuff out there. But uh, again, that is going to be it. And I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.